Welcome back. This is a short video on how to replicate the results that we got earlier using Stata and Excel by using the SAS Econometric software. And so as to remind you, in our previous videos on the Chow test and the test for restrictions, we saw how we can conduct the Chow test on this set of data where we had Y as the dependent variable and X1, X2 as the independent variables. We can see the data over here in the diagram. And we saw how we can conduct the Chow test using the formula for the Chow test. And we also saw how we can get the same results by using a test for restrictions. And, and when we estimated the Chow test, we found a value of 168.95. And this is the value that we want to replicate now with the code in SAS. So let us go to SAS. And the first thing we have to do is we have to import the data. And I have the import command right here. However, for those of you who do not remember how to import a data set, all you have to do is go to File, Import Data, and follow the necessary steps by saving the code in the end. Now the data is ready to be imported. I'm going to right click on the import command. Now I have imported the, da the data. Let us go to Explorer and then to Temp1. So I have imported the data and I can see that as soon as I import it, a data set called temp1, which is the name that we gave on the import command, appears on the left hand side in the work directory. So if I double click on this, I will see all of my observations, my dependent and my independent variables. Now the first way that I can run a chow test in SAS is using the autoreg command and I'm going to say proc autoreg on the data set equal to temp1. So I'm letting SAS know that I wanted to look into the data temp1 and the model is going to have y as the dependent variable and x1, x2 as the independent variables. To specify the chow test I have to put a forward slash and then say chow and the date where I believe a structural break exists. If I open the data I will see that after period 12 we have a sudden drop in the data. You see that up until period 12, all of the observations in the dependent variable are around 20 to 17, range from 20 to 17. And then all of a sudden we have a sudden drop to five. So let us highlight this and I'm gonna right click and say submit selection. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to get my results on the output window. Um, other than the statistics that I have on the top, I have my F value down here, which is exactly what I got earlier, 168.96. I know that this is statistically significant because the probability value is less than 0.05, which means that I reject the null hypothesis, so there is enough evidence to suggest that there is a structural break present in the data. For those of you who want to see the null and alternative, I would suggest that you go back to the initial videos. Let us right click, edit and clear those results because now we want to get the same results using a test for restrictions. And in order for us to do the test for restrictions, we first have to generate some variables. I'm going to open the data and what we will see here is that I want to create a dummy variable after period 12. So I'm going to say if the observation, this is the variable called observation, if OBS is greater or equal to 12, so, so in other words, for all the observations from 12 all the way to 20, then I want a new variable that I, I want it to be named D2, and the values for that should be equal to 1. Now, if I stop here and I run it, I'm going to get a column that's going to have dots. Let us do that. I'm going to get a column that is going to have dots up until period 12. Let us see temp2. And then it's going to have the values of 1. So I need to specify as well that I want all the rest of the values. In other words, if the condition doesn't hold, if the observation is not greater or equal to 12, I want all the other values to be equal to 0. So I'm going to complement this command by saying else d2 is equal to 0. And that is going to fill the remaining observations with 0. I also want to create an interaction dummy. So I'm going to multiply x1 times d2 and 
I'm going to create the second one, int2 variable, by multiplying x2 times d2. So let us highlight, right click, and submit selection. And now I can see my data. The data temp2 that I just created has y, x1, x2, which already existed. And now I have created variable d2, variable int1, and variable int2. Variable d2 is related to changes in the constant, and variables int1 and int2 are related to changes in the slope between the two groups that we examine. So now I'm ready to run the proc reg command, procedure regression, and the model is going to be with y as the dependent variable, and then x1, x2, and d2, int1, and int2 as the independent variables and I'm going to test whether d2, int1 and int2 are all together equal to zero. So let me highlight and I'm going to press submit and as soon as I do that I'm going to get my new set of results which includes the regression results which are the same as the same results that we got with Stata plus the F statistic which we see over here 168.96, which is exactly the same as the results that we got with Excel and Stata earlier. So we're going to continue with the next videos with SPSS and eViews. And the file, the SAS file that you just saw is going to be available at the website as well.